I'm oh, back with him in another pack collection video, but it's time to walk down memory lane. I would spend the just mentioning I'm left like season two because here it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. It's a concept I would love to watch an episode of Trolls here by DJ on and make pictures about it for your long pitch and I eat. Well, for season two, I eat two bean boozled jelly bean. No, for season three. Wait. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it mixed up. Season one and season two, I had one bean for each and crack prediction, but for season three, which I've not gotten to the explanation for that yet. Right. Anyway, so season two, I eat the bean with the uh, Joker shenanigan is anything that I try to really make this year's priceless, which first me to make the second season and also the third season. Filled with, in the season two, it's filled with even more jokes and shenanigans than the first one. And it could be a little joke that I made, or clever editing that I did, or something funny in the background, or something that's clearly irrelevant to the basic concept of our play. There are many such like the jokes and shenanigans and DGR's videos in live streams, but they're not being good here if I do not add anything to get away to them. I will show the after black things in the room video. If you want to control some of my shenanigans for our play season three, uh, there's only one more episode of that. Possibly beyond if I decide to do so. So, in response to my ice switch form. If anybody has played any response, you can see my, my ice switch spreadsheet. There is another series that I've decided I won't do season four before I finish another series. There, there is another series that I'm doing that combines feature on Bean Boozle, but that's what I'm telling you now. I want to get that finished. I'm gonna have now. The way I've done it, I've already recorded everything a couple of years ago, but I, it's taken me a long time. There's one episode, or one video in particular, that's taking a long time. And I haven't been working on it much. Especially since I'm working on season three, or whatever. But, when I get that finished, then I'll work on the other series, and more often than then. Because... I mean, I have to finish making everything before I upload anything to YouTube for some of the things I've done in the other series. And it's a couple of other things I want to add to them. I also want to make a teaser. And also, I haven't added any... No, I meant to make... I meant a trailer. Or preview. Yeah, a trailer. But also the teaser, which I haven't added yet. Chalmers, uh-huh. <laughs> Chalmers, I see. I see. Pack Valham. Love description. I love the description here, but what does... Who the fuck say? I don't, I don't know. Don't trust four. Welcome to. <laughs> yep. After. Glitch editor. The Paradigm, GMMVariety.com, Evanera TV, Steve Jobs, Gasket Chop Chop, Chop Chop, Boone, Neely, Stay Jack, Toomey, O'Brien, Corn Cob, Isn't that a butt? Well, isn't that a butt? Just a butt. As you can see, the other day, it really was not reacted to Aunt Fanny. Aunt Fanny. And look, she's not my aunt. She just takes in bots who are um, broke. <laughs> Bless her little heart. Well, then why is she called Aunt Fanny? Couldn't call her Aunt Booty. 
And in the UK, you can't call her Aunt Fanny because in the US, what we call Fanny is also booty. But in the UK, what they call Fanny, we call uh, uh, another word for cat and not feline. But another word for cat that means something else, if you, if, if, if you know what I mean. In the UK, they, or England somewhere, Europe, they say fanny for that part. Where in the US, we would say like butt or booty. So that's why it, like, in the UK, she's called Aunt Fan. Okay, don't trust five. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Pack of Ham and I have the house to myself. But maybe I'll make Lucky You rides here. I don't, I don't know. Cues. So. Alright. You talking to me? <laughs> no, they're talking to Bryce too. I forget the name of it. Of it. It's the same. Past a hat. It's the same camera. That would be a cool. Grab the hat. But I can't do that trick now because I don't have a hat here. It's in my room and I'm not going to, to go get it. Uh, Editor Bryce. Can you reach up? Grab the hat. Put the hat on. It's upside down. Second on a chili dog. <laughs> As you can see, it's a chili cheese dog. Chili dog in. No, uh, what's this? Chili dog in Dave's head. For the last week, any downtime my brain has, sucking on chili dogs is the only thing going through my mind. Sucking on chili dogs. Sucking on chili dogs. Sucking on chili dog, sucking on a chili dog. Make it stop, please. Make, make it stop. It's the okay, after you've seen some more files that I've used in I Lost My Season 2. Maybe some of the explanations videos. We'll move on to the actual explanation for some of them for episode four, Don't Trust. Part one. Lag in the video. For my birthday in 2021, I did Eyeball Off the Live, which is a live stream of me doing Eyeball Off the Live. I'm not surprised that nobody watched it, because my channel was not very well known, and the announcement was very short notice, just a few hours earlier. There is a lot of lag in this video, so Editor B put a list of software and hardware that I use. Open Broadcaster Software. That is what I was using to record the screen and broadcast to Twitch. Twitch. This is the website that hosts live streams and allows the logged in audience to chat. YouTube. This is the website I use to watch the trolled episode. Windows 10. This is the operating system that is running open broadcaster software and Google Chrome, the latter running Twitch and YouTube. Hewlett Packard. This is the brand of desktop computer that I was using to run all of the above. Republic of Gamers, Zephyrus. This is the brand of gaming laptop that I was using 
to see the empty chat room because there was nobody there. Although I could make it not so empty by typing my own chat message. My local internet service provider. For privacy and security reasons, I will not tell you the name of the company that allows Google Chrome to connect to Twitch and YouTube. Filmora, this is the video editing software that I use, and it has a screen recorder that I used for most of my eyeballs devices and two videos, but I was recording with open broadcaster software at this time, and Filmora was not even running, so it did not contribute to the lag, hence the list entry being not Filmora in parentheses. A part of Rendezvous played in the background. Twitch YouTube Meta. So, if you can see, this video, it was originally a Twitch stream, and then the name streamed it on Twitch, and then Chris edited it and put it on YouTube, or they put it on YouTube. I don't know what it is. Okay, originally it took Twitch three, and then a put on YouTube, and that's what? It's on Twitch again, by me. And then it'll go back on YouTube. Uh, and I'll actually use the link. This specific footage of Dave getting trolled started as his Twitch stream, then it was edited and uploaded to YouTube, and I did I blocked the line with it for my Twitch stream. Well, technically, maybe I should say I have a lot of life. And then I finally edited it and uploaded it to YouTube. I guess this video that I'm making right now makes it three times on YouTube, once on DGR and twice on Pac-Man. Editor me put text on the screen to show that meta with purple for Twitch, because which is the logo with purple, and red for YouTube, because YouTube logo with red. The arrows between them are blue. I realized I forgot to set the microphone to Blue Snowball. I, I, well, I think you can still hear everything I was saying. But there's that, and that noise in the background. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see Microsoft Blue. It's, I've stopped, I realized, I've checked, because I realized I may have forgotten to set the microphone and it's all. So I stopped the recording, made a new one, but of course made sure I said it correctly this time. Yeah. Wheel above. I put my face cam below the wheel in the little preview window in open broadcaster software. I looked up to pretend to see the wheel spinning. Or ASMR. ASMR is Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which is a tingling sensation that can be caused by increasing the volume on quiet sounds. Okay. I shouldn't read this like this, even though I did You know what? You know what? Editor B has a little bit of work to do here. I'm going to restart this. ASMR is Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which is a tingling sensation that can be caused by increasing the volume on quiet sounds. For example, I typed on the keyboard, clicked with the mouse, and made mouth noises while eating the bean. Normally, these sounds are quiet, but editor me decided to induce ASMR by increasing the volume and the EQ to make them much louder than they normally are. Editor me clarified 
what I was doing by putting the text ASMR in big letters on the screen, and it happened to be in front of the bingo board. Oh, by the way, ASMR videos are best experienced with headphones. So that you can really hear those quiet sounds. Okay. Great start. I think Dave said that Sark. Ooh. Got a notification for Everybody Loves Raymond and it blocked some of the text so I scrolled down, but the notification went away before I could let you have a good look at it. But anyway, uh, I think Dave said that sarcastically because not long after he started, he put Toad in a predicament. There is no way for Toad to get out, so that Boo has to take care of him. I sarcastically said, so am I, because I also incorrectly predicted that the area with the 50 coin above was correct, and I ate a jelly bean with a flavor that I didn't like. That was the first prediction of this episode. Throwback. This is the first throwback edition. I still have the box in my room. The baby wipes weren't bad at all. It kind of reminded me of Marshmallow with a little bit of baby wipe flavor. I was talking about the coconut jelly bean. That's the only time I'm willing to potentially eat coconut, even if the other flavor is also bad. Namely, spoiled milk in this case. The throwback edition paired coconut with baby wipes, which actually was not too bad of a flavor, which is probably why spoiled milk came in later editions. I accidentally said fifth edition, so editor me corrected it with a brief text screen. In chat messages, comments, etc., people typically use an asterisk next to a correction to indicate that it is a correction, which is what it did here. In case anybody was listening and not watching, editor will be put text-to-speech synthesis saying throwback so that they can know the correction. Share the link! Oh, I should put a- I should share a link to- not that there's anybody here, but I should share a link with you. Uh, I should put in the description somehow. Even though I figured that nobody would be watching, I decided to share the link to the spreadsheet anyway. I have the spreadsheet open on the desktop computer, but Twitch open on my laptop, so how could I copy and paste the link? I copied the link from the share menu on the spreadsheet, then I opened the Google... There. Then I opened Google Keep in a new tab, then I pasted the link in a new note, then I opened Google Keep on my laptop, then I copied the link from the new note, then I pasted it to switch somehow. Probably a chat message. What? Pick up these clouds. Here with the SMB2 that we cannot do previously. Don't see anything that we pick up. Unless we can pick up the dry bulb. I hadn't seen the clouds behind Dave, but now knowing they are there, I can see them. 
I had already known that clouds can be picked up and removed with the SMB2 shroom, but I just didn't see those clouds. New Fadely. Did I fade down the music? I guess I did. I can fade out the music, but how did I get it to fade to a specific volume? Here is a theory. I copied and pasted to another track, made the copy be the lower volume I wanted, then faded the original out. By the way, I base boosted Hand Balance Redux and Evenite Club later in the video, but I'm not sure if that is significant enough to warrant a separate entry or two in this document. See behind me. Oh, I didn't even see the clouds. I didn't even see the clouds. I didn't either. Were they behind me? I, I, I just have my uh, clothes mat there. Well, the dining room table behind me. And my OBS stuff there. What my screen? I can actually see all the OBS stuff. <laughs> I put my picture there, but there's not a pocket for me. From your perspective, that little window is top level. But really, actually, what you can see from here, to me, that's the top level. And there's one more level of the stuff. And you can see this window. And I can only drag me in that window. So me dragging here, I can still see all this stuff that you can't see. In other words, that picture you see in that little window cannot be turned down. I wasn't alone. Dave also missed the clouds at first. It was just then that I noticed the clouds, and since Editor Me comes after Recorded Me, I was able to put the text pointing to the clouds at a relatively earlier time in the video. I wondered if the clouds were behind Dave, as in directly behind, that I might not be able to see them, but they were more like beside him. The dining table is behind me physically. My OBS stuff was not physically beside me, but was around my face cam. I explained how I can see and move my face cam, but the explanation got long and confusing, so Editor Me sped it up and put clarifying text on the screen. Let me, right now, as I'm reading this, pause the recording, get my camcorder, and show you the difference between the face cam on Filmora's screen recorder and the OPS face cam as I actually see them. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to get the camcorder and then I'll have to connect it to the computer and import it that way. But I can just give an explanation. Okay, the top level, what can I see? Well, first I'll just, I'll tell you about that the OBS. So, that fa top level face cam there, I could not see that while I was recording. The little preview window I I, is the only way I can see where my face cam is relative to the rest of it. And so, for example, if I made it, my face cam big in there, this is foreshadowing, then, I mean, I, would, I, I wouldn't know because I wouldn't see it around there. I'd have to look back at that preview window to see. However, for Filmora screen recorder, I can see my face cam. So in OBS, it put the my face cam on there for the broadcast and the video recording. But with Filmora, I actually can see this. I, I can actually see and move and resize my face cam in the top level. So that's convenient. So, yeah. No little preview window or anything. What I see is what's being recorded. And I might as well mention Screencast-O-Matic. If the recording size is too big, then I won't even see my face cam. But if it's small enough, then I can, but it must be must be outside. And then when I stopped the recording for 
Screencast-O-Matic. I can only position it in one location and save the video. If I want another location, then I'd have to make sure I do not make another recording with Screencast-O-Matic. And then I can just move to Facecam and save another video. Which is what I did during that clickbaity video during the the clearest George thing where I had like one side and I saved the video again where I had my face cam on the other side and then I edited me, put them together and faded them. It was when I did the P bean boozled S kids during the eyeball off the Y. Okay, that may have been boring, but now here's something like actually funny. I think I just made this scream better. This is similar to my fortifications. I added two visual effects. First, I added video wall to make multiple copies, one in the center surrounded by a border of 12 smaller copies. Second, I added a shake effect. I think it was Chaos 1. For audio, I made the usual major chord. This covered that while it was playing. This covered that while it was playing. And here's where that foreshadowing comes in. I made my face cam bigger so that you can see me eat the bean better, but I forgot to shrink it back down. With Femora screen recorder, this wouldn't be a problem because my face cam would be on the top level of the screen and it would be blocking the YouTube video for me. With open broadcaster software, my face cam is not on the top level of the screen and the only way I would be able to see that it's blocking the YouTube video for you would be to look at the little preview window. Recorded me noticed later that the face cam may have been covering the YouTube video while it was playing and editor me put a part of that message in this part of the video at this time of year, at this time of day, and this part of the country localized entirely within your kitchen. Whoops! I had been watching too many steamed hams videos again when I typed this explanation. But to this is too I off to lie season two videos too early. Bag to box. Fifth edition. There is another incorrect prediction, but I had finished the bag of fourth edition beans earlier. I emphasize that by crumbling the bag. Now it's time for me to move on to my box of fifth edition beans, which includes these two new flavor pairs, birthday cake or dirty dish water, and toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Part two, taken care of in the next video because as you can see if i had include or as you will be able to see if i include part one and part two together it's about an hour 20 minutes which that's too long so actually i'm past hour 20 minutes so i'm gonna end this video here and then do the rest of it in the next video So first mark, click the like button. If you do, click the subscribe button. You'll see me next time. Until then, take care.